I'm Terry Hutchins, and this is my first attempt at a uh, post-game recap uh, following Indiana's 27-20 loss to Ball State Saturday night at Lucas Oil Stadium. If you were at the game or watched it on ESPN3, there's several things that jumped out. Uh, we saw the gambling Kevin Wilson. Uh, he on the, on the first drive of the game, IU goes 15 plays and scores uh, on a Matt Perez nine-yard run. But the nine-yard run came on fourth and one at the Ball State nine. Wilson decided to uh, gamble, not kick the field goal, go for the touchdown, and it worked. Uh, Perez got outside, scored the touchdown. Later, with uh, IU trailing 24-17 uh, at the end of the third quarter, the Hoosiers got down to the nine-yard line again. This time it was fourth and three. And uh, Wilson opted to go for the touchdown again rather than go for the field goal that uh, would have been a, you know, a pretty automatic kick for Mitch Ewald to cut the lead to 24-20 to at that time. Instead, he, uh, they go for the, the pass. and It seemed like a low percentage pass as it was. It was a, yeah, a pass out in the flat to Dre Muhammad that uh, was uh, you know, a kind of a quick play, and it was a bang-bang play, and it, it just... Uh, it never materialized as a quick incompletion. So, um, you know, whether you like that style or, or, or you don't, uh, I, I think we got the feeling tonight that, uh, that Kevin Wilson's going to be a gambler. Um, the quarterback situation, you know, so much talked about over the last month. Who is going to be the quarterback? Ed Wright Baker, Dusty Keel, Trey Roberson. Uh, this week we learned it was going to either be EWB or Dusty Keel. Uh, he went with uh, Wright Baker and uh, stayed with him. Uh, went with him the whole game. Um, he had decent numbers, 20 for 32, 272 yards, uh, long touchdown pass to DeMarlo Belcher. At the same time, he had happy feet in the pocket. Um, Made some questionable decisions, I thought, at times. But at the same time, you know, probably not a, not a terrible performance for a first effort for, uh, for DeMarlo Bell, or for Edward Wright Baker. Um, you know, do they stay with that next week against Virginia? Do we see uh, multiple quarterbacks in that game? That will be determined this week. Uh, my guess is that Ed Wright Baker comes back and starts against Virginia now. But maybe uh, maybe they explore their options and go to another guy, whether it be Dusty Keel or Trey Roberson in that game, just to see exactly what they have. And then the other big big story out of tonight, though, was just the play of the defense. Uh, no pass rush, uh, didn't stop the run, um, couldn't come up with a big play. Uh, it was a turnover-free game both ways, but. You know, if Indiana is going to be successful defensively, they got to find a way to make some plays and, and create some turnovers. But there was no pressure all night long. Uh, rarely were uh, defenders in the backfield. And, uh, you know, in a lot of ways, it seemed like the same old Indiana defense from that standpoint. And uh, that is definitely a point of uh, concern and something that. Uh, I'm sure will, uh, will be talked about a lot between now and uh, next Saturday night uh, or, yeah, when Indiana plays Virginia at Memorial Stadium. So that's my first attempt at a post-game uh, review. Hope to do more uh, videos coming up. And uh, I, I look forward to your feedback and uh, let me know uh, what you thought. And, uh, and, you know, hopefully we can continue this. Thank you.